Boom Pals out back again with a Samsung security video system. The other one broke down after almost three years of constant running and recording. I think the hard drive died on it. So I decided to go with a uh, different brand. Maybe Samsung's a little bit more user friendly. It's kind of hard to get videos off the other one. This one was from uh, Sam's Club. It was on sale. This was the best box they had. <laughs> so maybe I know why they're on sale. I'm hoping it's not beat up too bad on the inside, but we'll check it out. But this one's going to have uh, four times the hard drive. It says Wi Fi ready. Uh, all high def. It's a 100 degree angle, which is better than the night owls. 82 foot night vision. So we'll see. See how it looks. Look good at the store, anyway. Well, after constant running from the night owl, <laughs> it's finally croaked on us. Boom, pals out. And I bought a new um, video system. I don't want to try and plug into the old cameras. And then I'll slowly install the new cameras because it takes a lot of time. But this one's dead. It doesn't work anymore. All it does is blink blue screen and um, I talked with Night Owl and they suggest that I replace the hard drive. But I'm going to replace the whole thing with a different surveillance package. So we'll go look at that now. Table. Paper face is it going to be? It's not. I'm trying to do a movie. It's always fun doing this in one hand. It's almost open anyway. cameras or a camera it's right up on the corner where it was uh, dented in no control oh, these are the wiring oh, wonderful wires HDMI cable power cable power supplies Power supply. And the mouse. All right, cool. On to the next. Oh, handy dandy little brochures. This looks like it's the main unit. Packed nicely in styrofoam. Camera boxes. <coughs> Excuse me. These are great to share. Stand by. They look nice. Full HD. And lots and lots of cord. Which I already have the cord installed. If you want to check out my other one, installing the Night Owl. Mine through my attic. Loads of fun there. Okay. I'm just gonna see if I can hook it up in the computer room. And just another box with more cameras in it. I guess there's five in each box. I think that's it. Cameras. System itself. And all the wiring. This bad boy after three years of constant running is no longer functioning. All does a cycle of blue screen and a night owl staring at you. So we're gonna remove it and replace it. They suggested I replace the hard drive by the way. I'm trying to fix it. Maybe I could sell it on Craigslist or something. Alright, I spent the last 20 minutes on this atrocity I call a desk. Untangling the wires that were attached 
to the other um, DVR. So I'm going to start attaching these since they're essentially the same thing. I'm going to just attach them to the back of the uh, new DVR and plug in the power supply and put it on the big screen over here and see what they look like. Then we'll start switching out cameras, see what they look like. Also, I'll run over the operating system on the uh, DVR. Hopefully uh, it will be easy because the other one you had to download the video convert or you had to find the video convert the video download it or download it and then convert it so it could play on any player and it was a big pain in the butt but hopefully these will be easy we'll see it's samsung right 16 channels that means i've got uh only have eight cameras hooked up right now i have two extra in the new pack that i've bought and that's a possibility for another six cameras you know it'd be awesome I don't think I'll need that many, but it would be awesome. Here's the, all the hookups on the back here. I'm going to start plugging them in. All right, I have it plugged in and it's powering up. It's an interesting setup. And the main power cord, you plug it into the, I guess, all the little um, different outlets. This red one here looks like it plugs into the back of this. Then you plug in a separate splitter, which gives you even more access to power for additional cameras. And I've plugged those in. I only have eight. This has enough for ten. I have extras for uh, the other set, but I'm using the ones that came, whoa, came with this. And the cameras are up. They look pretty nice. Those are the old cameras. However, camera seven, whichever one that is, is not working. So let me troubleshoot that and see what's going on. While I was troubleshooting, it started beeping. It said it had a recording error and it's gonna be rebooting, but so far it hasn't rebooted. So, I guess I'll just wait this out. Might go start replacing the cameras. Might be the best thing to do. All right, I've determined that this is the garage camera. It is powered up. The lights are on the camera itself, but it's not transmitting to the uh, DVR. So I have to figure it out. I never rebooted, by the way. I don't know what was the deal with that thing. Well, see, you could tell it has power because the lights are on. This one's going to be problematic because I have to uh, unscrew it, fish the wires out of the attic, um, put the other wires back through the hole, back into the attic, plug it back in, and secure it. It's going to be a big pain in the ass. i got to do it before it gets to be 90,000 degrees outside. It says it was rebooting, but it doesn't reboot. So i got to figure it out what's going on with it. All right, pull this through. I didn't break my camera. Okay, back to the attic to plug this thing in. I hate going up there. I've got to fit back there. I'm not small. So, one more time. Last time, hopefully, for a while. All right, camera seven is working. I just need to aim it better and clean my garage. Now, I'll see which one of the ones I need to replace before the weekend ends. I'm not going to get them all, but I'll try and get a couple of them. All right, just a side note on, this is how my old screen used to look. I don't have a camera 9. But uh, to show you the difference in the um, resolution, this is the old camera. It's not bad, but it's not as crisp and clear as it could be and this is essentially the same yard on the new camera you can almost see every blade of grass so the other one was up here at this corner of the house looking this way this one's pointing of course that way and it's much that 1080 resolution is really nice and uh, 
think I'll enjoy that. So that upgrade is, that's a big plus. It's still making some beeps that I have to look into. I'll look into setting it up online and uh, over the app also. But uh, I'll finish installing these uh, cameras, the ones I'm going to do today. It's about 100 degrees out there already, so I'm not going to be doing it much longer. But Well, that was lovely. Let's try to uh, get on to the, uh, try to uh, get this connected to my router. It says failed to find a router. So I stood on line for, uh, I guess it's Samsung customer support for about 45 minutes. And they told me that I have an AT&T router and I got to go to AT&T to get the username and password. So I guess I'll be doing that some other time. In the meantime, I'm not hooked up to the internet, and I can't look at it remotely. So, I'll do this some other time. Okay, since there was a fail with the support of uh, Samsung customer support, then I'm looking around in my yard. It's pretty dark out. I'm going to go look at the cameras and see how they look. Since it's dark out, it's about 8.30, almost 9 o'clock. And as you can see, it's from an iPhone. Everything's pretty dark. All right, well, it's almost nine o'clock, 8.54. Same time it was whenever I just walked outside and checked everything. And we're going to, that's an old camera. I haven't replaced that one yet, it's a new one. You can see the bugs flying around pretty good. You can see my messy garage. That's the front yard I was just in. Outside of my garage. Backyard. It's pretty good night vision. I like that. A lot better than the other cameras. All right, I tried to um, hook it up manually by myself. It didn't work. I called their customer support, uh, Samsung customer support. Uh, they weren't able to do it because they didn't have my password to my uh, my uh, router. Well, I obtained the password from the router. Ironically, it was on the side. I could have had it after I waited in line for 45 minutes on the phone. But uh, they connected remotely with my computer and manually or set it up remotely so I can hook it up to the iPad and iPhone apps. And now they're all streaming through the apps and I could also get it on the computer. But I don't, I'm not gonna worry about the computer. I just want it on my app so I could see when I'm away from the house. It's like a big screen to look at at the house. And um, they put all the information in a file on my uh, my uh, my desktop so I can access it anytime I need and if I lose the settings in one of my devices I could reprogram them. It was incredibly easy once I had the uh, password to the router and he they, the, the uh, technician on the line did everything for me remotely and um, you have to allow them access to your computer and they can set it up remotely that way and the little error screen I was getting on from the DVR he said to ignore that because everything the, the manual settings are listed in this file here and I'm not going to show you the file because for security reasons but I'll show you the app in just a second here currently this is what the app looks like it's a Samsung iPolis I guess is how you pronounce that mobile what you search for on Android and Apple. These happen to be Apple. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And once you enter your settings, which I like, again, I'm not going to show the settings. Uh, you enter the settings that they provide in that little folder on the desktop. You can bring up the cameras. And you have remote viewing. It has settings in here so I can look at the other four cameras. 
I don't see a setting where you can record off the app. Um, have I, I've just started to play with this though. You can flag them. Don't see recording, so it shows live, it shows playback, so I can play back, let's see, camera one, go back to the 17th, let's say 3 a.m., we can play that. Shows you the middle of the night, shows you the angle of the camera. But I don't see a record option. I can see a fast forward. That's a bookmark. Um, I don't see the record option. You can play it remotely, but you can't record it. I guess you have to re rely on the DVR to record stuff. I could be wrong, but I just don't see that option. So that pretty much has it. It's very easy to set up, very easy to run. However, I don't see my, the uh, the night owl had a record option. You could save it right to your phone. But um, so far, it's pretty easy. I like it. Um, just showing you how it goes, and hopefully, you have a success with it, and it's easy for you. Boom, pals out. Like, subscribe, comment.